Hey everyone, and uh, welcome back to my channel. So in my last video, I said I was going to talk about makeup. Let me fix this. I got a bun. I don't know, does it make a difference? Sure, we'll film from here. Do I have to start over again? Nah. Like I said, makeup! Today I've got some makeup on. I'll move closer so you can see. Just a little bit of eyeliner, mascara. I did my eyebrows. Kind of. I trimmed them a little bit too much and there were some spotty holes, so I've had to be using. I've had to be using my uh, eyebrow filler in her. And yeah, I have a little bit of foundation on, but not that much. And I actually put on blush today. But yeah, I was going for like kind of a light pinup look thing. I don't know. What I was going to talk to you about makeup is a lot. Honestly, makeup tutorials probably won't be my biggest thing. Just because, one, I don't have a bunch of makeup. I have like two mascaras and I've had the same eyeshadows for like ever, which I probably should get new ones and I would like to. Um, I actually really do want to get new mascaras and stuff, but I just don't use a bunch of makeup. Things like contouring, I don't do that. I mean, I know how to do it, but I have like a really crappy contouring palette anyway, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah. I bit about my makeup history, my past with makeup, back in about seventh grade. I started to get into the scene kid phase. About eighth to ninth grade, started wearing black eyeliner all the time, and that's basically all I wore. And then tenth grade hit. I was still in that phase a bit, and so I wore a decent amount of black makeup. Basically black was all I put on. I didn't do eyeshadow and stuff. It was black eyeliner and mascara. And then I stopped wearing makeup for a few months. Like it was maybe two months or something. I don't remember the exact reason why. I just didn't wear any for like two months. And then I decided one day I'm gonna wear eyeliner again. At the time I thought it was an allergic reaction now I'm thinking my eyeliner had gone bad because, I mean, I had been using this eyeliner forever and it just randomly made my eyes go crazy. Basically, an hour into the school day, my eyes were red and puffy and were forming mucus of some kind. It was so gross. I literally went to the bathroom every, like, 30 minutes. Just, it was weird. It was just... Oh, my eyes were like, it was so bad. So after that, I was like, screw makeup. I'm done with this crap. And so I didn't wear any makeup for a while. Um, I did some modeling stuff for a while. So when I did modeling things, blah, 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 when I did modeling things or musicals or theater stuff, I'd wear makeup or special occasions. But on a day to day, didn't really wear makeup. Junior, senior year. Eh, here and there, but nothing that major. First year of college, which was this past year, um, I got into wearing makeup for a while, like actually doing my eyeshadow and everything, and like got really into it, and I actually sold Mary Kay for a while, um, which was an interesting decision that I made. That will be another video. My Mary Kay story. That's definitely another video. This is my makeup story, which briefly intersects with my Mary Kay story. But so when you're selling makeup, it's good to wear makeup every day. But for a while I was wearing Mary Kay makeup every day because that's what I sold. So that's what I should be wearing. And then this summer hit and for about a month straight, I just stopped wearing makeup totally. And it was so nice. It was probably one of the best decisions I have made in a while. And here is why. Because I learned to enjoy my face. I 
It used to be where I would wear makeup so much I would forget what I looked like. So when I'd take makeup off, I would have a really hard time feeling good about myself. I'd look in the mirror and be like, oh, it doesn't look as good as when I have makeup on, and blah, 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 and just blah, 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 and just negative thoughts. Whereas that month went by, and for like, I mean, for a little bit, it was kind of rough. I'd look in the mirror some days, and there's always days where you feel like, oh, gosh, I just, I mean, you're super tired or whatever it is, and you just feel like you look like crap. But after a while, I just got used to my face. <laughs> and I know that sounds weird, but I really just enjoyed my skin, and like, I don't have perfect skin. I've got, I mean, I've got some foundation on, so you can't see, but, or you still can. See? I mean, a couple of these are little pimples. Most of these are acne scars. But I just really enjoy, learned to enjoy my face. And that has led me to be able to enjoy makeup that much more because when I put makeup on, it's a choice. It's not a need anymore. I don't wake up and be like, oh, I need to do my makeup. Honestly, like the first half of today, I didn't wear makeup. I went to my first job at Round Top, didn't have any makeup on. And I've got my skincare routine I do, but that's to help with acne stuff. And then I did my makeup for Spencer's and I honestly wasn't going to and then I put my hair up and I was like oh this kind of looks pinup-ish and then I was like I should do some eyeliner to go with it and so I did a little bit of winged eyeliner and I was like oh that looks so nice put on a little bit of mascara felt like put on a little bit of foundation and then I was like oh I should totally complete it with a little bit of blush just to be fancy and I got to enjoy my makeup instead of feeling like it's a need to have on my face I get to enjoy it that's why you probably won't see a bunch of makeup tutorials from me and you're not going to see my daily makeup routine or anything because I don't have one. Because my face is my daily face and makeup is something special to me that I get to use and I love it. And I can totally do some specific tutorials and I know how to do makeup. I do theater and modeling stuff so knowing how to do makeup is something I know how to do. But it's not a need. It's a just depends on my mood and how I feel. And so there you have it. My story of makeup, I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed talking to y'all. Whoever y'all are who watch this. Ooh. <laughs> I hope all of you have an absolutely fantabulous day. Goodbye.